Kanpur, a big industrial city on the banks of the mighty Ganges, a city that is home to a historic leather cluster. In 1840, Robert Montgomery, who उस समय यूपी के गवर्नर थे उन्हीं ने 2400 फैमिलीज का लेदर बिजनेस में इन्वॉल्व होना बताया उन्हें 1859 में गवर्नमेंट हार्डनेस एंड सेडलेटरी फैक्ट्री बनी जो बढ़ते बढ़ते 1947 तक 13 इंडस्ट्रीज बन गई बड़ी ऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर में अब धीरे-धीरे इनकी तादाद 402 हो गई लेकिन उसमें से इस समय 260 इंडस्ट्रीज ऑपरेशनल हैं। Today, signs of a vibrant industry are visible everywhere in the streets of Kanpur. Indeed, this cluster exports more than 15% of India's overall exports of leather and leather products, and it belongs to an industry which is among the top 10 foreign exchange earners for India. However, There are some concerns. The factories and the tanneries, in particular, generate a large volume of effluents, and not all of it is treated to acceptable levels. This pollutes the land downstream of the tanneries and the river Ganges as well. Though there exist common effluent treatment plants in the area, much more needs to be done to bring the discharge to acceptable levels. When the effluent is generated in in tanneries, it contains a lot of uh, contaminants. If it is fully treated in a treatment plant, it will consume a lot of energy, a uh, lot of chemicals, a lot of efforts. But if it can be controlled within the uh, at the source itself, that will save a lot of uh, uh, cost in the effluent treatment plant. Such a strategy could make the effluent treatment easier and the tanneries more sustainable. This is why Unido. Along with the government of India, launched the Kanpur Leather Development Project. Its objective was to generate awareness about cleaner tanning technologies and to create a better working environment. Uh, at the time the Unido program was started, two or two and a half years back, the industry was really going through a rough patch, and especially on the environmental issues, a lot of customers overseas started questioning. the state of preparedness of the industry in the city of kanpur the program strategy was to demonstrate various cleaner tanning technologies and show that they were commercially viable to facilitate this process a core group on cleaner technology was set up so that it could share the knowledge and cleaner technology interventions among the stakeholders in this project we uh, adopted the shoho method so we go to the tannery implement the technology monitor it for some time and then generate the data then disseminate to the whole cluster such cleaner technologies were installed as pilot demonstration units or pdus take this pdu for instance a hair saving machine installed at kings international earlier hair from hides used to get dissolved chemically and enter the effluent stream this is now avoided by the hair saving machine this machine segregates the hair which can then be used as fertilizers in farms well hair saving machine has been a boon for us because uh, as i said that this hair was actually animal hair which was going into the effluent and was in increasing the pollution load by saving it by saving the hair or by filtering out the hair you are preventing the hair to go into the effluent so it is in fact reducing the pollution load less pollutants also means reduced costs of treatment and disposal of waste water and sludge needless to add there are the energy savings and importantly the quality of leather remains the same as with traditional technology In most tanneries the amount of water added to the processing vessels is judged visually. This usually leads to excessive water being used and hence to a larger effluent volume. At Leon Global the program has helped in installing an automatic water mixing and measurement system which delivers a precise quantity of water at a specified temperature. By using this system we are saving up to 20% of water consumption.
The tanning industry uses a lot of hot water. For this, they usually use coal-fired boilers which pollute and release ample amounts of greenhouse gases. Super Tanneries has taken a different route. It has installed a solar water heating system. Last year, we calculated the how much saving we did in the coal consumption. So, uh, after the calculation, it has come 35 tons of the coals we have saved, saved in one particular year. And overall, the energy consumption, 10% is reduced. Alternative sources of energy is clearly a promising area as far as clean technologies are concerned. For instance, Calico Impex has installed a large solar air heater for drying leather. This operation needs hot air at around 135 degrees Celsius and solar energy is providing much of this heat. Solar panel se, uh, 75 to 85 degrees tak le lete hain aur baki rest of heat jo hai apne boiler se lete hain aur iska response bahut acha hai hamare koi maintenance ka kharch nahi hai aur hamari energy saving bhi hoti hai. Thanks to this clean technology, this tannery is saving around 600,000 rupees annually. This means that the payback period is around 3.5 years. The leather industry uses up enormous quantities of salt in order to preserve hides. This salt, which is very difficult to remove from the effluent stream, causes land degradation and pollutes groundwater. But there is an alternative. Chilled hides. The Unido Kanpur Leather Development Project has explored this possibility with extremely positive results. The biggest advantage of the chilled hides is that we are not using any salt. And, and we are reducing the TDS tremendously. So it's very easier to achieve the TDS norms for the tannery. And the other hand, it's very easy for the slaughterhouses to handle without salt. But what if chilling hides is not possible? The alternative is desalting. Hides that have been salted and preserved can be put through a salt shaker like this one. The rotary movement coaxes all the salt out of the hides. But such shakers are much too expensive for the smaller enterprises. This is why the program has introduced them to a brush type desalting machine that is relatively inexpensive. Tanneries generate a lot of wastes and much of it can be recycled. This machine collects waste, lime liquor, removes all the solid particles and recycles the remaining useful liquor. Again, this reduces the total volume of effluent generated. The final PDU is really an attachment installed on an existing fleshing machine. Earlier, water used to flow continuously during operation. Now, this newly attached valve releases water only when required. This is cut water consumption. So, by the end of the project term in 2018, the UNIDO program had successfully demonstrated techniques for reducing the environmental footprint. What is significant is that around 70% of the costs of these pilot units were borne by the tanneries. This shows their commitment to tackle environmental challenges. But growth cannot be sustainable if it is not inclusive. This is why the project has been conducting training programs on sustainable leather manufacturing technologies and health and safety. Classroom level training is held continuously at the Kanpur Leather Complex, a cluster level institution. Moreover, the project has developed a number of e-learning modules. These visually attractive interactive modules have helped many young men and women become aware about technology and environmental issues. Unido e-learning course में सबसे बड़ा advantage ये है कि इसको कोई भी कर सकता है अगर आप engage हैं किसी किसी भी industry में आप 24 घंटे में कभी भी इसमें कोई time foundation नहीं है कभी भी आप login करिए अपने mobile से अपने laptop से और इसको login करने के बाद इस course को आप कर सकते हैं जो कि बड़ा interesting है इसमें कई सारे pictorials हैं और videos हैं जो आपको अपने 
प्रोफेशन के बारे में बताता है इस कोर्स के बारे में बताता है यूनिट हैज प्रिपेयर मेनी कोर्स मटेरियल ऑन ई लर्निंग दैट इज ऑन लेदर प्रोसेसिंग एंड ऑन द फुटवेयर व्हिच वी हैव यूज्ड फॉर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द इंडस्ट्री कैंडिडेट्स आल्सो नाउ इवन आफ्टर यूनिट इज लीविंग यू कंटिन्यू टू यूज दिस मटेरियल फॉर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स इन सिंक विद द ई लर्निंग किट्स The program has been emphasizing the importance of occupational safety and health issues at the shop floor level too. There have been demonstrations on the installations of protective guards and on ways of reducing accidents due to hydrogen sulfide. Attendees may primary treatment plant may hydrogen sulfide gas ki generation ki wajah se har saal kafi mautein hoti thi. लेकिन यूनिडो के जरिए जो अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम चलाए गए और किट भी सप्लाई की गई डिटेक्शन के लिए मीन वाल द स्मॉलर एंटरप्राइजेज ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड टेकिंग देर ओन इनिशियटिव फॉर इंस्टेंस तेज एंटरप्राइजेज है स्टार्टेड रिसाइकलिंग वोटर दिस इज अ कलेक्शन लाइम लिकर कलेक्शन टैंक द स्लज अलॉन्ग विद वॉटर कम्स फ्रॉम द पैडिल द स्लज सेटल्स ओवर देयर द वॉटर कम्स टू अनदर टैंक From this another tank, we have put a uh, pump to recycle the water. Earlier, we used to throw the water. Clearly, there has been a big shift in attitudes. Many entrepreneurs now realize that making investments in cleaner technologies can improve their bottom lines. These days, it's not only the financial uh, balance sheet which is looked at. it's also the environmental balance sheet which is looked at by most of the stakeholders and also public at large yesterday we had uh, an american buyer and when he saw that what kind of efforts and measures we have taken they showed their interest keen interest to increase our business uh, in their business with us in the time to come all in all the cluster has responded very positively to the program kanpur is a big leather cluster we have a lot of potential and the environmental issues are a really serious concern and unidos help on these major issue is a big support to the industry and we look forward to continuous support of unido as well as the government of india for the future projects also so this historic cluster has demonstrated its capacity to invest in new ideas and absorb new technologies but what happens after the unido project term gets over will the momentum continue we have decided to partner with the central leather research institute and if the need be with some foreign institution to remain uh focused on the environmental issues and we are going to improve on a daily basis we as an industry promise you to take it forward otherwise there is we cannot survive